Hi, I'm Kimberly Moses, but everybody calls me Prophetess K. And today I want to talk about strength in difficulties, strength in difficult times. Now, we are in a pandemic and there's so much chaotic stuff going on around us. Some people are losing their mind. Some people probably lost their jobs. Some people don't know how they're going to make it. Some people are probably feeling stressed out or full of fear because of uh, just the death rate is high. Uh, just a deadly disease out there with pretty much no cure. Just so much going on. So God wants you to have strength in the difficulties and he wants you to find strength through him. Some of us been going uh, through the motions and we been trying to uh, have strength on our own. We've been gathering strength on our own, but God wants you to draw supernatural strength to him. So today's scripture is Psalms 29 11, and it says the Lord will bless his people with strength. The Lord will bless his people with peace. So God is going to give us double blessings. So right now, during this pandemic and COVID-19, God's going to give you strength to make it when your job is uh, trying to uh, furlough you or uh, fire you or no money's coming in. God's going to give you strength to get out the bed. God's going to give you strength to find a better job. God's going to give you strength to make it in this trying time. And God's going to give you peace. He's going to give you peace that surpasses all understanding. There were times in my life where I didn't know how I was going to make it. I testify all the time and I always tell my my experiences about the wilderness because I went through the fire. And some of you guys are going through a wilderness experience or you're going through the fire. And what does that mean that you're going through a trial of your life and you're fighting and you're saying, God, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't feel like I have the strength to go on. And that's how it felt too. I didn't know how I was going to make it in 2013, 2014 during the dark darkest time of my life, but God gave me strength to get out of the bed. He gave me strength to clock in every day when I worked in the hospital. He gave me strength to be a mother to my children. He gave me strength to go out there and preach, pray, and prophesy, and go minister healing unto the sick. He gave me strength when I was going through my own financial storms and battles to encourage somebody else in the Lord. And when I began to just take my eyes off of my situation and put my eyes on Jesus, then I found two things. I found strength and peace. And we have to learn how to endure and persevere and, and keep pushing and not throwing the towel when things get tough. I know some of you guys got a bad report. Some of you guys got so much stacked up against you or so many odds stacked up against you, but God will give you supernatural strength and he will give you peace because you belong to him. And because you are a child of the King or you are a child of the most high God, God is not going to leave you high and dry. God has special, amazing, awesome, fantastic plans just for your life. So when I was in the wilderness, this God got me through. You know, I lost everything. I hit rock bottom and I said, God, you know, I repent for my faults and my bad decisions of why I got in the storm. But God, I surrender it all to you. And the day I lift my hands up and the day I repented and I really meant it in my heart and it was a heart and a behavior change and I really yielded my life to Christ, then that's when Christ came through. God came through and then he began to give me strength, give me strength when I had to go to court every week. He gave me strength when I was on probation for two years. He gave me strength when I was almost homeless. He gave me strength when I got evicted. He gave me strength when the money was funny. He gave me strength when I only worked three hours, or excuse me, three shifts that whole month. And I had so many disconnect notices. The utility bills was getting ready to get cut off. Um, my cell phone bill was getting ready to cut off. I had no food. God gave me strength and God came through. And I want to tell somebody today that's watching this that God is going to come through for you. All right. So God wants us to put our trust in him and not in the bank, not in the finances, not in people, not in things, because you can have something today and it can be gone tomorrow. God wants you to put your trust in him. The scripture says some trust in horses and chariots, but we trust in the name of the most high God. And his name is Jesus Christ. We trust in Christ. And when you trust in Christ, you'll get strength.
all right? People are going to begin to look at you and they're going to say, you know what? I don't know how they're making it. I don't know how they can be smiling and rejoicing when, you know, maybe they're going through something in their marriage. Maybe something happened with their children. Maybe... Um, you're being uh, attacked and ridiculed, persecuted, and everybody's looking at you and everybody's watching, but God prepares a table in the presence of our enemies. So God's going to provide a, a, a fantastic big table for you in the presence of your enemies. And guess what? Instead of the shame, you're going to get a double portion of honor, and then you're going to get strength and supernatural peace so you can have strength to hold your head up and keep on pushing, just knowing that God is going to vindicate you where people try to laugh at you and people try to talk bad about you you don't take it personal say you know what i'm being persecuted for christ's sake you know what i'm going through this but the devil is defeated and jesus is lord and at the end of the day i win i'm on the winning side at the end of the day i'm going to make it out this storm at the end of the day god is with me if god is for me it doesn't matter who's against me god is with me and you got to know that god is with you all right i need you to decree that out over your life psalms 29 11 that god is going to bless me with strength that's right he's going to give you strength to get out the bed i know it seemed like the enemy is attacking you right now but just know that we got strength through christ we got victory through christ god's going to give you peace decree that out psalms 29 11 that god's going to give me peace i know that what you're going through right now <laughs> you should be in a mental institution you should have lost your mind but god is going to give you peace in the storm all right so if i can make it and I can push through, so can you. You know, we have no excuses to not trust God in this season. We belong to God. We are children of the most high God. He is the creator of the universe. There's nothing too hard for him. You know, God used Moses to raise up the staff to part the Red Sea. That means an impossible situation. And God's going to use you, use what you have, the little bit that you have to cause some impossible things to manifest in your life. God's going to use the little paycheck that you have to sustain you. And you're going to look back and say, my God, Lord, I know this is nothing but you that I'm sus being sustained off of this little bit of paycheck that you bless me not to lose my my car during the pandemic. You blessed me not to lose my house in the pandemic. You blessed me to have some money in my account during the pandemic. You blessed doors to open for me in the pandemic. All right. So you got to have faith and you got to know that, hey, you got to draw strength from God in this season. You cannot draw strength from your own self because sometimes uh, things will happen that it don't make sense, but God has a plan. So stop looking at what's falling apart in your life or who's walking away or what's not working out and look to Jesus Christ today. Look to him today and trust him because God's going to favor you. God has an amazing plan, even though you don't understand it. Sometimes when God speaks, it goes over our head and it don't make sense. It don't make sense in the natural, but the word of God tells us that the natural mind cannot comprehend the things of the spirit because they're spiritually discerned and we serve a supernatural God and God he is a spirit and his spirit is truth all right and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty and there is freedom and where his spirit is there is peace so I decree and declare today that you're watching me supernatural peace supernatural joy supernatural strength the fall upon you, I pray that God will favor you in this storm. God will favor you in this pandemic. I've been telling everybody every single day to decree and declare, I'm blessed in this mess. That means the pandemic is mess, you know, but I'm blessed. In this season, I'm going to testify because when I testify against the enemy, a black eye. All right. And the enemy is overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. So in this pandemic, God has been blessing me and my husband, new uh, employment opportunities, uh, 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 relocation, money in the bank. We got we're making more money than we have made in the last season when there was no pandemic. All right. Uh, divine connections, increased credit scores every day. Just so much peace and so much favor. All right. So if God God is doing it for me and my husband just know that you are next all right so again 
please meditate on Psalms 29 and 11. And when you meditate on God's word, you're getting the word deep in your heart. You're getting his word deep into your heart. So you are just reflecting on it. You're pondering on it. What does it mean to you? You're memorizing it, you're decreeing it, you're reciting it out of your mouth. All right, you're making it personal. Psalms 29 and 11, let's read it again together. The Lord will bless his people with strength. He will bless his people with peace. Remember, you are his people. All right, you belong to God. I belong to God. All right, and meditate on it because it's nothing worse than being in the midst of a battle and the enemy's attacking you and you don't have any word inside of you and remember the word is the sword of the lord so as you meditate on scripture just know that you are going to cut the enemy because the word of god is alive sharpening a two-edged sword and it cuts all right so just remember every time you meditate and you decree and declare the word of god you're cutting the enemy that's trying to attack your finances your relationships you know your opportunities opportunities that God has prepared for you. He's trying to attack your mind and your body. All right. So again, God, he wants to strengthen you as never before in this pandemic. He wants to strengthen you as never before in this uncertain times. He wants to strengthen you and give you peace. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next broadcast.